So there's this dude. He looks like this. But let's just say that he was pretty cool for the sake of argument. Now, you would say that there are two ways to do things. You can do them the right way or the best way. And now here, I'd be like, how is there any difference? What's that been talking about? Let me give you an example. When you go to the grocery store, if you buy cheaper stuff, you'll save more money. It's a pretty simple theory. The right way then, like your strategy walking up on the giant, is to buy the cheaper stuff. Save yourself from the expensive stuff. Great. My dumbass then walks into the giant, and I'm on the prowl for the cheaper stuff. Save money, sounds good. I'm buying the red delicious. I snag yellow onions exclusively. I'm doing great. Doing things the right way. Then I see, let's say, the eggs. I'm like, dude, 12 eggs, 4 bucks, 3 eggs a buck, not too bad. Or this clearance, 24 for 5.95. That's a cop. By doing things the right way, by following my theory, I use sales to spend less relative money. But what I don't think about at the store is how it's now two weeks later and I got a dozen eggs left in my goddamn fridge. The idea here is that the logic checked out, the theory and the strategy was fine, but in practice, I didn't save any fucking money. The best practice, says Edmund Burke, is not exactly the same as the right way. It's based on what actually ends up being successful for you in that situation. Purchase based on what you need, and not based on deals, or ideals. In reality, Burke talked not about the theory of grocery lists versus clearances, but about governments, and I simply cannot make another video about that shit. And I just feel like, maybe I don't really have to. Let's just keep sticking with food. So the right way, we can say, is like having a plan, and using math, or theory, or whatever you want to call it. It's like the technical right way. The best way, though, is about real life, what has the best outcomes. So it uses no exact plan and more relies on observation, right? The problem with the best way is that you can't know the results ahead of time. How do you know the best number of eggs to get? Well, you start with whatever number, and then if you eat them all, then get more. And if you don't eat them all, get less, right? This might feel simple, but it has major ramifications and broader applications. Take like the stock market. Applying the right way, we would invest where the profit is greatest. You look at metrics and stats and nerd stuff, and you get the investments that go up and down, but generally go up pretty high. The best way, however, would rely on broader market trends and conservatively invest using historical yields and value as their guide. Both the graphs are green in this case, but the right one, which is on the left to fuck with you, does not have the longevity that the best way has. Burke, for example, called the right way believers stock jobbers because they're volatile and rely on trendy movement of common belief to support their yield rather than the more stable proof of historical success. I would figure that value versus growth stocks are a pretty contentious argument as to which is actually better, if it even makes sense to compare them. But all this is just to show that there's two ways of looking at things and you know one could be better than the other in different circumstances, maybe both are good, maybe neither. Burke was an advocate for the best way and sometimes the right way is also good, etc. So that's, that's the gist of the idea. Um, but I feel like I can't end a video after comparing eggs to the stock market. Um, okay, so that Edmund Burke guy, he's kind of cringe at the same time. The idea with his best way is that you have all these rungs, right? Like on the ladder. And slowly but surely, as your ladder gets longer, and as you have more iterations, and over time you make steady changes and improvements. It's better than starting from scratch and trying to get somewhere from nowhere, right? But the cringe part, the cringe part when you're talking about government is Burke's ladder was pointed toward the French Revolution and he says this ladder best way is the best because it relies on previous iterations. But if they rely on bias or inequitable positions, you know, the earlier rungs in his ladder, the future rungs will just perpetuate those problems. You would need like a big restart to your government. That's the idea. Burke's idea was much more paternal, though. Paternal cynicism is what I would call it, 
where normal people are too stupid to figure out the right way. So he argues that you need smart people who have been in power for a really long time to lead everyone else to the best way, the more practical way. I got it from a book somewhere that it is the cynicism of those who seek to shape public opinion by manipulating its already existing tendencies and habits. The bias in this case is actually good for him because it keeps the original benefit of the government from being overthrown. So I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Sometimes the best way is good, sometimes the right way is better. I prefer scalping coupons at the giant, for example, but then I also prefer investing in more stable stocks. For government, you got America built on the right way, you know, starting from scratch and your goddamn bootstrap. And then they said, well, you know, maybe everything should be more slow and incremental when you're changing it. So I don't really get that, how that works into the two, because it feels like they're the same. And maybe the construct of the dichotomy, it doesn't really work. But anyway, Thomas Paine wrote a response to Edmund Burke's thing, the thingy that I read. So he talks about the right way and how it's the only way. So there still is this contention of one is better than the other because Edmund Burke was only really the best way guy. So, so now Thomas Paine's like, this guy fucking sucks. And that was a fair take to have, evidently. And uh, that video is, you know, it's right there. You can click on it. It's cool. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. See you later.